Hi there, boys and girls. We are back. You boy, are we getting closer and closer to Easter? Do you know that? Next Sunday's Palm Sunday. Oh, have I got a surprise for you? Uh, I'm. You, you are. What I'm going to show you next week is going to blow your mind. I'll tell you. It's just because Palm Sunday. You know what happened on Palm Sunday? I'm not going to tell you this week. You'll have to check next week to see what happened on Palm Sunday, but I'm going to, it's got Palm Sunday for a reason. You're going to have to hand it to me, okay? Maybe I can hand it to you. All right, we'll just see. What the, but today, I'm, I'm going to be a chef. I, I didn't bring my chef's hat. You know why I didn't bring it? Because I couldn't find it. That's a good reason to not bring it. I did find my chef's apron, but what good is a chef's apron without a chef's hat? I used to work in a bakery. Did you believe that? Years ago, I worked. I wasn't the baker. I was a cleaning boy. I I washed the dishes and uh, uh, I helped them carry. Oh, one of the bakers was a big, big wedding cakes, and they were on a big board like this table, and we had to move it from uh, you know one area to another, and, and maybe into the freezer uh, to keep until it was ready to go to the wedding. I, I helped with that, and they had a big vat this big that they made the donuts in. And I would help to get the donuts out and, and uh, salt, uh, not salt them down, but sugar them down with confectionery sugar and uh, all that. And, and the pie pans. We, I cleaned the pie pans. Now, they didn't let me use soap and water. They didn't use soap. We just used water because you wanted to keep a, a certain layer of, of the oil in the pans because that made the pies come out nice and perfect. I didn't know all that. I had all different kinds. I had a pie baker and a cake baker and, and the chief baker, he was the cake baker, and others, and they baked cookies. Oh, man. And those cookies would come down after they didn't sell. I didn't throw them away. I ate those cookies. Oh, were they good. Oh, man. I got big. But I loved it. Yeah, I only worked there one year. Yeah, got tired of the dough and went on the loaf. And, and such. But that was what I did. But today, we're going to... I'm going to talk to you about making a cake and, and what I want to do. Now, make a cake, you know, you want to follow what I talk about, okay? Now, there's directions here. We call it a recipe, and, and that's an important thing to do. And I, I, I put my glasses here. I get my glasses because you have to be able to read to do a, a recipe. All right, now, this says you're going to need uh, one and a quarter cups of water. Well, I, I don't have that much water. So I'm going to go with half a cup. Half a cup should do it, okay? Half a cup of water. And it says you need a third of a cup of butter. Well, if, if you only need a third, you can probably skip the whole thing and not put any butter in it at all. You don't need any butter. Uh, so a half a cup of water and skip the butter. And then three eggs. Well, our chicken's been laying a lot of eggs lately. And, and I'm afraid some of them go, so I'm going to put four eggs in. That'll help make up for the butter and the water. Okay? And then you heat the oven up to 350. Well, that's a little too hot in our house to heat an oven. So I'm just going to heat it up to 100 and, and leave it right there. And then you mix the cake mix. Well, I'm going to do that because I'm going to mix this cake right in with, with that half a cup of water and four eggs. And boy, is it going to be good. Uh, and, and I stay right in the kitchen there, and it says um, bake until uh, directed, uh, and you can put a toothpick in the center. I'm going to use a pencil, because uh, I don't have a toothpick. A pencil will work too. Why are you looking at me like that? Why can't I do it that way? It won't work, will it? No. You have to follow the directions. Yeah, that's a pretty important thing. Whether I'm going to make a cake, or whether I'm going to make pancakes, which is another type of cake, because back on the back of this box, it talks about eggs and oil and milk. Oh, it didn't even talk about milk in the other, but I got a milk. Mix them together. Um, this one doesn't talk about butter, but it talks about oil. So different things are going to have to have different things to make them work and, and to work together. Jesus said, you have to do the right thing if you're going to get the right result. Now, I was helping one of my grandkids with homework the other day. He was having a rough time. I was having a rough time. Been a long time since I did algebra. But we, we were working on algebra. And, and he, he wanted to just kind of do this and that and the other thing. And I said, no, you've got to follow the rules. 
if you're going to get the right result. If you're going to get the right answer, you have to follow the rules. Now, Jesus never wrote a rule book. Did you know that? We have the Bible, and we think of that, but, but Jesus didn't write the, the words that are in the Bible. He spoke a lot of the words that are in the Bible, and other people wrote them down so that we would have them. But he never really gave us a rule book. Jesus went, and he saw some fishermen. And he said, you come and follow me. I'll show you how to be real fishermen, fishing for people to follow God. Um, he called other disciples, and, and he said, come and follow me. And when they said, where do you live? He said, come and see. Come and see. Now, I remember hearing uh, a missionary one time talk about going into the jungles. And I think it was talking about the jungles of Asia. Now, many of you don't know anything about where Asia is. It's way on the other side of the world. You might have heard of some countries over there in Asia, maybe named India or another one named uh, Cambodia or Vietnam, uh, uh, Thailand. Those are some of the countries that are over there. Then you could go down to uh, Papua New Guinea. They have jungles there. And, and uh, uh, it can be scary because there can be some wild animals there. Um, there can be places where you can get hurt. And this missionary talked about a person, that wasn't them, but they talked about another person who had hired one of the people who lived there to take them from one village to another. Uh, they wanted to get there. Now, uh, sometimes they were able to build little airfields and they could fly from one to the other. But this was early on, they didn't have any airfields or any airplanes or any of that stuff, so they had to walk. And so this, this missionary hired the other, uh, the, the native, to take him to another village. And they, they were going along through, the, through the, the jungle. And he had a machete and he was cutting down some things so that they could get through them and all that. And, and finally the missionary said to the, to the guy, he said, I don't see any path. And the native said, I am the path. Ah, huh, isn't that right? There, there, there isn't a path that's marked. Now, if you go to a lot of the parks, our parks, our national parks, there's a trail there. And, and I helped to maintain a trail at one of our retreat centers that we, we can hike the trail. And you'll see blue marks or yellow marks on the different trails at the camp. And you follow that because that marks out the trail of where you're going. And if you don't follow the marks, you could get lost. And, and some of the camps, there are huge amounts of woods. You could get lost out into those big woods and, and it'd be hard to find you. Uh, and so, so you have to follow the trail. But in this situation, there weren't any marks. On it. Now, if you go onto my property where I live, uh, I have trees that mark the boundary, and I've spray painted them over the years uh, so that we know where our, our boundary is, and we can follow that along from one mark. No spray paints on the trees, no marks. They just had to, that person had to trust that the guide knew where he was going and would lead him in the right way. When we follow Jesus, we have to trust that. Jesus will guide us. Now, he gives us some marks for our trail. Like the Bible is a good mark. As we study the Bible and study the stories about Jesus and, and sometimes study the, the stories in the Old Testament. There's some good stories in the Old Testament that help us to know about people who followed God and wanted to do what God wanted them to do. And sometimes people that didn't follow God. And, and sometimes it didn't turn out good for them. And sometimes people that followed God still encountered some bad situations. But God never left them. And so they, they had that, that sense of uh, being cared for. So Jesus said, follow me. Now he also gave us some other people that we can follow. Can you think of some other people that, that Jesus uses to help us to follow him and to do the right thing? To get our recipes together in the right way? The minister, that's right. The minister can be one that we can follow. Uh, although he's not God. No, 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 ministers are called, they make mistakes too, yeah? yeah, I've made a bunch of them in my time, uh, who else can we follow? Our parents, parents are, are given to us so that they can set us examples, that we can follow them, yeah, that's an important thing, uh, can you think of some others? Mm-hmm, yeah, I had some good teachers in school that, that helped me in many ways, not all of them helped me in the way of necessarily following Jesus, but they helped me in the way of growing 
and learning, and I could take that learning and say, that helps me to be a better Christian. And so there, and maybe even our friends, you know, that we play with, they can they can help us to follow Jesus. Now they can lead us in the wrong way too. Yeah, we have to be very careful sometimes uh, of who we choose as friends. But there are a lot of good things, and and. The Bible says that God has not left us without a witness. Now that he means he hasn't left us without somebody to lead us and to help us. Whether it be our, our parents, our pastor, uh, our teachers, our friends, uh, our grandparents. Yeah, all of these people can help us. I had neighbors who were very special to me uh, because they helped me. They were just farmers like my parents were, but they were very special to us. They, they were like godparents. And uh, I, I, I appreciated all that they meant to me as I went through. I had some teachers that only years later did I get back to them and tell them how much they meant to me. I didn't realize it at the time, but they meant so much to me uh, as, I, as I got older. There are a lot of people. And I had a minister that was like that. Uh, and I wrote to him when I was ordained. I was made a minister myself and, and wrote to him to say how much he had helped me uh, at that point in my life. So there, uh, Jesus gives us others to help us find the recipe and to follow him. Okay? All right, we're going to pray. Father, thank you for this day again and ask your blessing upon these, your boys and girls. Help them to follow you and to know the right way to go because you are the path. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next week. Palm Sunday.